Welcome to my Extra Life page. Once again, I'll be using Extra Life to raise money for Johns Hopkins Children's Hospital, the hospital that saved my daughter Scarlett's life twice, once when she was first born and once again when she was two. Last year, we were able to raise $700, and I think this year we can actually break a thousand. That'll be so incredible. I have not done it yet in all my years doing Extra Life. Join me and help me raise all that money to help the kids that really need it at Johns Hopkins Children's Center. Enjoy whatever I'm about to play. Bye. Hello, hello. Starting some more streaming today for Extra Life. Let's go ahead and um, continue here. So this is where we were doing the mail sorting last time. And um, we were not quite sure why it wasn't increasing. Um, I think it would, it would make sense <coughs> for there to be some offices here near the post office. Um, and don't think it would be out of the ordinary for there to be some commercial here. Maybe over here. Um, I'm going to leave this area behind. I may end up putting some trees or something in there. So for now, I'm just going to zone residential across this whole thing here. I'll do the same here. I believe this is elementary school, right? Yeah. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm making a ton of money right now. Or, you know, a good amount. I'm going to go ahead and add the playground and the clinic. I don't have to worry about that later. There we go. Then I'll go ahead and add housing over here. All right, so. <coughs> um, I've got quite a ways to go before... For the um, upgrade... Uh, to the, whatever comes after Big City. So I've got to be careful with my points as well as my tiles. Um, let's take a look at what we've got going here. For now, I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine not worrying about these things for now. Crematorium. Could it be good for better care? You know, because everyone's always like, where's my hearse? Um, and it does, probably doesn't take up anywhere near as much space as the, um, the graveyards do. Although the graveyards do provide, like, some um, equivalent to... Uh, parks. All right, um... I think what I, I think I want to go down this um, fire suppression route. Um, and we could probably no. I think I've used up everything. We can't do tourist attractions. All right. Um, <laughs> we've got telecom towers but these i remember are like way more expensive than just placing the little ones so i don't think i'm going to worry about that i think i'm going to go this way get the helicopter depot see if we have the money to place that um let's see how big it is so we don't have the money we need two million it looks like no that's a fire station Oh, I see. I need to unlock that, and I need to have the fire station, I think. Let's see. Firefighting helicopter team. <coughs> Let's see. Oh, here it is, right? Yep, okay. So I need a million and some change. All right, so we'll work our way towards that. See if we can get there. Um, in the meanwhile, let's see. So tons of air pollution issues here. 
we will try to fix that by continuing to replace industry with um <coughs> with offices so let's flip over go to office all right so i go with here and here all right and decide to okay um we have some commercial need don't want to block this road here so i'll just do this side right here like this and we'll put some here so, oops like that that maybe it'll change things i'm not entirely sure all right cat in our cabin uh, all right um and while that eats up that demand so over here, what are we doing at City Hall? Got tons of employees. All right, cool, cool, cool. Um, so got some housing here with nobody living in it. Okay, I'm gonna do some conversions here, starting to be here. This wretched one. Could maybe be some low rent housing. And here, I change these into row homes. That should take care of that. Now let's shift to commercial. See the other places where we should definitely be having commercial. All right, looks like over here is a very valuable place. We'll do a density like that. Do another one there. Oh, you know what? Yeah. There. Okay. Um, hmm. At some point, maybe worth displacing some of those homes. Let's see. Let's do some small commercial here. The hospital. We could have a helipad. Away a lot of my money though, so let's not do that just yet. All right, some poor houses here, okay, and wretched. Okay, this seems like it would be a good place for um, low rent housing then. <coughs> let's see, that would be here, 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 here. Here, I'm going to do some medium density. Let's see. I'm going to do it like this. And then, I'm actually going to do a commercial one here. Make this row housing right there. Okay. There we go. Let's get rid of these. Oh, they're going to go on their own. That's okay. I'll let that happen. Alright, we got these houses here. These are wretched as well. So maybe they would do well with some low income housing. Stop coming back. I <laughs> uh, guess I gotta zone it first. here some more low rent here and I'll do some row homes like that <coughs> I 
that should eat up most of that demand. Um, let's go back to commercial because we've got like an insatiable need for commercial. All right, let's go high density here. sorts itself out. Pending updates to our power See if we can get things going over here. Experiencing rolling blackouts. We urge the public to remain calm during these breaks in service and to follow the guidelines on the city's website on how to plan for these temporary events. This has been a local public service announcement. Local authorities are urging the public to conserve water and reduce the burden on the city during this water shortage. Consider installing a low flush toilet cut back on watering the lawn, and shower with a friend whenever possible. This has been a local public service announcement. Let's that see. That was truly superfluous. Masterful counterpart. You're listening to Second Moon Radio, the station of levitated tastes. Don't touch that dial. A housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. That's right, Glenda. There we go. But apparently, that's not all good news. <laughs> We're joined today by an let's get, let's see, this should be commercial here, I think, on Main Street. So a housing and here we will do trying to move here. housing, housing, housing. A program to desire certain representations within ideological reward structures, which are entirely apart from the actual rewards enjoyed. Right, let's go. Just like this. One final question, Professor. Is the housing shortage going to make me richer? By certain metrics, perhaps yes, in the short term. I like the sound of that. But what we are so, one of the things I learned recently is that these commercials are supposed to reflect what's happening in the city. Or maybe not commercials, but these segments. But there was like a bug that makes some of them trigger when nothing's actually happening that should trigger them. The commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva Mate. Or so my right. wife tells me, that's good Some for more. and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. We'll go ahead and put some more commercial over here. All right, and then continuing this way. Let's see. This is, looks like it's a four lane, right? Yeah. So we'll come out like this. And I'm just gonna keep this guy. No, you know what? I think I want, if I'm gonna have him I want to upgrade them to a bigger road. Go. Let's see. Oh, I see. All right, so let's do this. Let's do. Let's go underground a little bit. I think is what we need to do here. some more housing here. Hey, Scarlet. I'm just saying hey. Right. Got that. All right, let's see. Do these folks need a elementary school? They do. I'm going to place one right there. 
pretty good. Still got lots and lots of money coming in. Alright, let's head back to the center of the city. Let's see. Riverside and Old Town. <coughs> Alright. Let's see here in terms of this. Oops. Looks like we want some there. Oh, we're finally starting to have our demand drop for, um, you know what, let's do this one, this next one here. We're starting to have demand drop for our um, low density, which is something that takes, has not been true for a long, long time. Alright, so here we've got this lone electric thing that's not connected to anything. And we fix that. There we go. Now we won't have that annoying thing going on anymore. Alright. So. Uh, leave these guys alone now. <laughs> We're going to have interesting development simply because we didn't own this parcel here. Alright, let's see what's going on with this highway. Why is there so much traffic? It's backing up, backing up, backing up. What is... It's backed up, backed up, backed up. To here? Holy moly. Alright, so it looks like we need to upgrade this section of highway then. Let's go... Let's make this a four. Place. There we go. That should help, because now people can shift over and they can just keep going straight. There we go. Let's see if that can sort itself out. There. Now we've got dedicated turn lanes. Alright, yeah, that should help a lot. <laughs> Alright, that's much better. A lot more flow. Cars are trying to figure out where they want to be. Alright. Let's see. Let me, I'm going to speed this up, see if that helps clear traffic any faster. Alright, it can still pile up a little, but not nearly as much as before, so that's good. Then once they get past that point, they're good. Alright. Oh yeah, and there's another point here where there's cars coming onto the roads. But the question is, can I upgrade here? Oh, now the car's like, ah, where do we go? Alright. That should help a bit, I think. Alright, cool. So now we head back over here. We're still getting a bit of a pile up here, but I think I need to I might need to buy this parcel in order to upgrade that well. So we'll go ahead and do that. This is kind of silly that we don't have that spot there. Okay, let's go back in. Let's upgrade. There we go. <coughs> At the very least, there's a little more um, capacity, even if... <coughs> There's still the possibility of getting stuck. Alright. So now that we can expand this way. Woven wool. I like that.
do I leave that like this, or do I change it up to what I've been doing where cars are getting on and off the highway? Let's see. The pre previous point, so here they can get on going this way. What if I got rid of the traffic lights and just said, you just gotta go at your own risk, maybe? Let's see. There we go. All right, it would probably help if they weren't crossing this and then ending up on a smaller street. So can we grade that? Yeah. At least it shrinks down there on that side. All right, this guy is changing to Anu's interior. Okay, that's fine. So now let's go. You know what, I'm gonna do a seven lane road going in each direction just to like carry a lot of traffic here parallel to the highway. And from here, we'll go like this, come back this way. There we go. <coughs> a lot of increase in citizen happiness. I like to see that. All right. So now let's do some medium. Let's say here to here. Here to here. And we already have a intersection here but let's let's not make it too complicated all right so now let's do some commercial basically along the highway and this definitely is something i've seen before looking just like this okay. um and then you know what i'll make offices on the bottom part And um, here, this is a what? This is a six lane. All right, so let's grab a six lane. And now we'll go parallel to that guy. And hmm, we would have to build some businesses if we did that. So what if we, you know what, just go to here. There we go. And here, we'll just do medium road. Going this way and up, but he won't quite touch. All right, cool. So now, Let's do some of our, uh, let's see, let's do medium density housing here. Some row homes there. And I'm gonna do a parking garage. Or not parking garage, just a parking lot. Let's do it here. Then maybe let's make a um, a path that would kind of go here, kind of just allow these people easy access to the um, to the parking garage. We'll do the same thing. Yeah, back here across the back like that. And then like that. There we go. Cool. So now let's do, we'll do a commercial housing. And then apartments. Um, here I'm gonna do low density. Okay, cool. All the cranes going up. Awesome, awesome. All right. So now, 
think we should definitely cut across here. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive, and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. Has anyone seen my keys? My keys? What? We're on the air? Oh, oh! Uh, sorry about that. It's, uh, nothing important. I just lost my keys. I'm sure they'll turn up. They're for the All right. brown sedan parked outside the radio station. Oh, so here. I shouldn't have said that. If anyone finds them, please. I'm oh, going to kind of control things a little more in terms of the size that they can be. Oh, good. Here they are. Well, never mind them. <laughs> Thank you for listening to uh, Second Moon. Industry in the region is on the rise, and when business is doing well, that floats our boat. There's no sinking this boat, Glenda. This just in from traffic. If you're thinking about hitting the streets, you can expect delays on the major roads, especially during rush hour. Good to know, Jim. Seems like everyone is in a hurry to get somewhere fast. Mm. It's worth slowing down. And if you can, plan your trip outside. And let's paint. Oh, I don't know. I'd rather wait an hour in traffic than to have to start thinking about everything all the time. Besides, if I did that, I'd never get anywhere. Okay. I didn't mean for those all to be high density, but it can happen. It makes sense. All right. Now yeah, we'll do a... No, you know what? We'll just let it be. Let's go back over here. Do some low density housing. Go. Bless you. <coughs> so things continue to evolve here. Things. Are, uh oh, we're losing money. No. All right. I did. Let's see if I can build my. But you're gaining money. No. Look. See, losing money. I'm gonna build a fire helicopter depot. You what? Made a few too many some things. I don't know. All right, so we'll put that there. Boom. No, there's tons of people coming in. All right, cool. Now we've got... Now we're losing quite a bit, but we've got the ability to fight fires with helicopters. All right. What's going on here? Oh, because originally this was probably blocked off. So I'm sorry, but we're going to have to get rid of your little bungalow here, dude. What was that sound? Hmm. I have to think about what I want to do with this area in here with all the trees and so forth. Alright, they've got two out of their five helicopters dispatched. That's good. Can't be upgraded, apparently. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Alright, so... That's doing its thing. Citizens are getting happier and happier. All right, let's see how traffic is doing on the highway. All right. Pretty good, pretty good. All right. Guys are waiting for hearses. I'm going to... I think I'll build one more graveyard over here. I think it could be... Useful. Let me do it. Can I do it up here? Yeah, everyone's happy about that. Well, some people are parking in the parking garage. Okay, that's good. <coughs> Alright, sorting. Still, this thing isn't being used? This must be a bug. What in the world is going on? Unless it needs to be right next to the other meal? Huh. Fishy, fishy. Alright. So now... Come over here. We're still pretty full. Oh, what about the elementary school over here? Alright, they're still okay. Oh, alright. Oh! Uh, hey, Autumn Wyatt, I'm sorry I didn't see your chat before. Hopefully you haven't been waiting too long. Um, that's what that sound was before, it was you following me. Hey, uh, nice to see you. 
Uh, Maryland area, Maryland, USA. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're raising money for Extra Life for Johns Hopkins Children's Center here in Baltimore. Um, all right, so these folks are saying they don't have enough customers. Um, since they fixed the bug, that might simply mean that, um, that, uh, there's like two of the same, yeah, see, you can't have two clothing stores next to each other, that's gonna clash. Um, so one of those is gonna have to go away. Do I stream daily? No, I don't stream daily. I actually usually just do Let's Plays. Um, it fits a little bit better with my schedule than streaming does. Um, so... Uh, right now, like I said, I'm streaming to raise money for Extra Life. Um, there should be there on, on Twitch the uh, the button you can use or a link you can use there. Um, you know, the the money goes to help um, kids that can't afford um, hosp their hospital care. Um, and so... Uh, So yeah, that's that's why I'm streaming now. Um, so uh, I got City Skylines when it first came out a couple weeks ago, and for me it hasn't been too buggy. Just a couple bugs here and there, but nothing that's made it so that I can't play, which is nice. Um, all right, because we have street parking here, I think I'm going to um, put a parking lot right there. Yes, yes, I know. And then uh, we'll go ahead and do some more apartments here. And we'll let it be a big one. If we bulldoze it in time, it could end up being a big one. Oh, it'll so be a medium-sized one and then a smaller one next to it. Which is fine. I could have paused it if it really meant that much to me. What level of the game? Um, so, <coughs> um, if you look here on milestones. We're on milestone 11, which is big city. So we start at tiny village and you keep growing. I'm not sure what marks these, what's special about these big circles versus the smaller circles, but, um, you know, if you've ever played games like SimCity or maybe even the earlier city skylines, a lot of times they used to gate what you get based on, um, how many, uh, what your population is, but now they've changed it to more of an XP thing, just like, you know, if you're playing, uh, um, what's that called, uh, an RPG or whatever. And so based on that progression is what you get. Um, and so the other thing is they've made it now, so you buy these tiles to expand your city, and you get a certain allowance at every milestone. So I've got two more left that I can buy till my next milestone. Um... So that's where I'm at now. <coughs> the one thing I need to get better at is um, mass transit. My mass transit's just okay in the city. Um, so yeah, if you look at the top there, those are the folks that have donated. It's mostly me and my brother and his wife so far. Um, So this is a high school here, and then this high school, or secondary school, if you're from Europe. Um, and then this is a, looks like a American football stadium. Um, all right, let's see. Along here, uh, let me see, for the high school, we can do a school, let's see, school library. Does that take up space? School library is within there. And the, the extra wing is within there, so we don't need to preserve this space here anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and zone this. Um, for an apartment. And zone this here for row houses. Have fun at the park, guys. We'll go ahead and put this... Thank you. Some commercial... So this here represents like a building you might see in a in a large um, city where the bottom part is shops and the top part is um, living space and that'll come up here. 
Uh, and if we look like this, we can see some of our tall buildings. There's this one here. And there's a, I think I have at least one more. Oh, he was right behind him over there. Yep. And uh, I think I'll go ahead and take a picture here of the city. Textures just got a little wonky. So, as you, you know, as you can see, the, the game is, can be a little buggy sometimes with the textures. Um, all right, so let's continue. Get over here. All right, let's get, um, So you see there, I just got some more XP towards the next progression milestone. Uh, I am losing money like, cr not like crazy, but I'm losing more than I wish I was. All right, let's go ahead and do, let's see, we'll do some commercial over here. Uh, let's do, there we go. And we can zone some residential nearby. Uh, I didn't want it to be that kind. Let's have just regular residential. Oh, this is not perfect for them. I would rather have some dense. Okay, so we'll put some dense residential. Let's see, these guys, they want to live more like over here. It doesn't feel safe going at night with all the crime. All right, cops, huh? Thing is... Right now, oh, they've got pretty good coverage, except up here. This is gonna cost me in budget, but at least they'll be all right. All right, so now, see, now we're really We've really got a mismatch here. So, let's see if I can get enough more, enough extra people to move in before we truly really run out of money. Um, all right, I'll come in over here. Let's grab a small, move this way. Yeah, we'll just link under here. That seems like a good idea. And this way. On the other side of the elementary school. Alright, see if we can drop some more housing here. Uh, I'll go ahead and use the fill bucket. Alright, that'll get us... Some more housing, some more population pretty soon here. And then we'll go ahead and grab, we'll let that whole thing be commercial there. Looks like two pads filled in. Um, Pending updates to our power grid, the city will be experiencing rolling blackouts. We urge the public to remain calm during these breaks in service and to follow the guidelines on the city's website on how to plan for these temporary events. <laughs> this has been a local public service announcement. Cool. Just got to get some more people to move in. It's been a while since we were this dire straits. Right. The public should be aware that we are struggling to get the situation. We do. We certainly do. This has been a local public service announcement. All right. Let's. Second moon with. J. Thomas Hornbuckle. Before we dive into our next election, I'd like to take a few memento moris to elaborate on the formal structure of the symphonic work. For our newer, less able listeners, first, we will be dancing through the al dente section before entering the right. slower largo movement, finally, then savoring the vivacious anti-pasto movement. So, without further ado, let's raise the curtain. And begin. 
There we we're, go. We're live, um, and we're Let's bring some smaller roads here. Accident, uh, somewhere uh, in the city. Road maintenance services have already been dispatched, and traffic flow <laughs> should return to normal. But if you're planning a quick trip out, you might want to wait a little while until everything clears up. If you're in it, you, uh, you already know about it. No use reminding you. Meanwhile, uh, expect delays and drive safe. And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more high These are all in the water. These are not actually useful. Luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva mate. Or so my wife tells me. That's good for business. All right, we'll grab another small road. Thanks, Jim. We'll cross about. We'll be back after this. All right, let's place some more housing here. Go ahead and do an apartment building here. <coughs> and some commercial over here. So hopefully as these folks, okay, cool. More people are moving in, paying their taxes because now we're only losing 3000 bucks an hour, which is good. We've got this complex highway interchange going on here. So we'll just grab a small room. Let's see. So our other thing is here. Yeah, yeah. I think we can. Okay, we've got one here. So I think if we can do it. Nope. Here, maybe. There we go. Nope. That is not. Let's see. There, maybe? Nope. Trying to connect too high. Alright, what if I come from this side and try to get. No, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> nope, definitely did not want to do that. Alright, um. Maybe it'll be easier to just continue this way. We can go along the coast here. Let's try the complex one. Let's go here. Oh, we ended up straight again. Eh, I guess it doesn't matter. Let's see, here we go. There we go. All right, now we're ready to go straight again. So then come in from there. There we go. All right, cool. So then off of here, we can have some small roads again. Oh, you know what? Let's just do a regular bendy. Go here, bend like that, and we'll go here, bend like that. There we go. Perfect. Uh, do we do one more ring? Why not? Go here, bend like that. Okay. Let's do it. Here we go. some commercial cool. and residential that should probably be commercial but we'll let it slide since they're okay living there 
A lot of these are in the water, but there may be enough tiles that I can do something with it, maybe. These definitely won't. These are too much in the water. And now that we're back on this side, we'll do commercial. And here we want to make sure we can potentially cut across the river. We'll just do something like this. It looks like demand has somewhat cooled off here. Let's go ahead and do a park. We'll do a dog park. A small playground and a dog park. We'll do a small playground there. Dog park right there. All right. And then I think here we'll do some more light residential. Some more commercial here. Okay. Cool. We're finally starting to reduce our commercial demand. <coughs> and we are still. Oh, we're whoa. We are way super positive. A bunch of people must have just moved in. Holy moly, that's awesome. Cool, cool, cool. All right. So these people say that rent is too high. Um. Nobody's zoned in here, but perhaps it's not really that desirable. Um, so the thing, if I continue too close to the coast here, it'll make it hard to cut across, I think. So maybe do that first, but let's see here before we do any of that. How things are going. Oh, there's a bit of a backup here. Okay, it's just uh, waiting for a stop sign. Stop light. And that does happen on the highway sometimes, so that's not the end of the world. There are some definitely some highways here where I live that have that. Um yeah, this is the main highway that came with the level where people come in and out from around the world. Right. It's doing well. What in the... That car just drove... Oh, I thought it was about to drive off the highway. I was like, uh... There is just a random-ass car over here, though. What is this all about? Alright, so there is... Let's see. So there's traffic backing up here. I guess because so many people want to go that way? What is... Why is that happening? Well, we can expand the road, though. It doesn't have to be so tiny. Let's go... Let's make it... A three lane. And the, oops, there as well. Okay. That should help, I think. Once the cars sort out where they want to go. Everything is good. What do they need? Lack of high skilled labor. Okay. Oh yeah, I had had thoughts of making another passenger terminal somewhere because I've only been doing. Um. All right. So high skilled labor. All right. So if we look at our education tab here. Uh, education. Entry high, college. Technically, there should be more people going to the colleges that aren't. Oh, boy. All right. Well, I'm not sure what I can do about that. Whoa, their stored garbage is completely full. Holy moly. So use up all our money. <laughs> all right. Um... Hmm. 
that is bananas. All right, so what's the cost of just making another one of these guys? A million, okay, so definitely better to upgrade if we can. here to the I forgot where's the train it was up this way right and then over here we've got got our train yard so we've got the cargo terminal we've got the train station so yeah it wouldn't really take people anywhere they want to go if I made another one over here people might use it to get to work potentially but maybe what I want now is what are these people called? Weather damage. Okay, I'm not sure what I can do about it. Um, let's come over here. Should probably make another um. Their um, subway station. And link it to the one up there. At least, you know, get it into the system. <coughs> Alright, let's see. So, if we did it... Here. Wouldn't really give us a lot of room, would it? Um, and I want to be definitely around by the time I get over there. What if I, let's see. All right, what if I do something unconventional here and I grab my medium and uh, come out this way and then put it here. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area um, due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution. And then, let's and see. Stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. So for this side, we don't have far before we have to get underground. So some of the finest classical music on the air. Keep that dial right here. Okay. So now I can do this without. There's no sinking this boat, Glenda. We're we're live, um, and we're gonna. I think this will keep me from curving at an angle that's too bad, too high. services have already been dispatched, and traffic flow should return to normal. Let me see, where am I trying to get to? Quick trip out. You might want to wait a little while until everything clears up. If you're okay. If you, uh, you already know about it. No use reminding you. Meanwhile, expect delays and drive safe. All right, so now once I'm here, there we go. All right, so we're connected there and that, that end. That's a lot further than I thought it was, holy. All right, well, all right, so let's come back over here. And on this side, let's see, go. Oh, that's on the road, huh? Thought that was elevated. All right, then. Excuse 
excuse me on that one. Real L train in a certain sense. heading towards that way all right you know what? I'm gonna keep going we're at 60 feet I'm gonna keep going along the river here all right when I get to, okay so I'm almost where I want to be so it's time to start going underground I guess You know what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go, let's see. All right, I'm going that way, but also, is there a way to... So try and let's go. This way. Cool. All right, so now this subway this, uh, station here. Let's see, from the right side, can I go here? It looks like it went a weird way. Can I go this one up here. Can. There. Can I go here? Then back. And from here, here, here. Stop at this one on the way back and finish. All right, cool. Now, if I were to go to my yard here, okay, so we still have vehicles we could be using. Okay, and take a look at our station here. There's an accident. Car went off the road. All right, so if we go here. Sure, we'll do that. All right, so now. Um, very cool. Alright, 
we have a vehicle. Okay, it's leaving the yard. Alright, so I think when it comes to subway, we need to change these colors because these are crazy. You no, know I'm going to start here at red and then slowly migrate. Here we go underground. back around to red. Right now we're underground. If I were to go to underground mode. Okay. All right. Very cool. Is there a stop here? There is a stop here. Okay. Um. So bendy letters. All right. In a couple more minutes, I'm just going to take a short break. All right. Oh, yeah. There was traffic over here that I was curious about. <coughs> Where was I? Over here. Okay, so traffic's going very slowly because we're getting held up here. So expanding the highway won't help me. Could, is this wide enough that I could make a roundabout instead? Invalid shape. Hmm. So over here would work. There we go. Now we've got a roundabout instead. So what if I... Oh, gosh darn it. All right, let me pause for a second. There we go. Now, let's roundabout. No, because it overlaps. Um, <coughs> we can upgrade these roads, but we can't move them, right? Because these are the ones that come with it. Oh, I guess we can. Same, that would be a good thing, though. All right. We're going to have to take some drastic measures here. And that is going to do a Y. We're going to go, let's see, what was this, a medium road? It's going to come up like this. Then. That way. Here. That way. Now this may be a candidate for a roundabout. Hmm. This definitely looks more complicated than it should. Let's get rid of that. Alright, let's try this again. I think car is just stuck here now. 
would have had a small road coming off of here. Roundabout. Small road coming up that way. And then... Get a small road going that way. Okay, now... We don't have any traffic lights anymore, so now we're in better shape. And then... Yeah, we'll see... <coughs> Zoning-wise, what happens here. Okay. And then, over here, let's try and... F maybe fix it similarly. back with Second Moon Radio, your second right. home from home. So settle back in your chair, pour yourself a glass, and prepare for another... Um, and so what we'll do here... Tonight we are doing a musical tour of... Let's go ahead and first make this one large as well. Art and culture. <laughs> Quibon, bon, as they say. And an aria inspired oh. by the... Oh, yeah, okay, that's fine. Vivaldi, be our guide. There you go. A housing shortage is okay. Up prices so then... That's right, Glenda. But apparently, that's not all good news. Let's have a small road. ...today by an expert guest, Professor Nutbutter. Welcome, Professor. So a housing shortage is bad for the people trying to move here, right? Humans are programmed to desire certain representations within ideological reward structures, which are entirely apart from the actual rewards enjoyed. For example... Oh, whoopsie daisy. Right, well, one final question, Professor. Is the housing shortage going to make me richer? By certain metrics, perhaps yes, in the short term. I like the sound of that. Okay. While we are discussing um. the study of a statistical abstraction and its effect on the human Thank psyche. you, okay. Professor. It is a question of priority. Oh, no. Wait, what we want to do? That's not the right kind of street, is it? The commercial district is booming, as the area is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury okay. to our neighborhood. You can now shop for see. shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva matcha. It's going to go like this. Or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and like that. for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. Right here. And these guys can meet with Roundabout. Okay, cool. Very ugly looking roundabout, but hopefully this solves the traffic problem. Let's see. Now let's speed things up so these cars figure themselves out. I see. This is going to cause issues. This needs to be a one-way street. Let's go. Replace. One-way. And one way. Now we're talking. All right, what's up with these guys? We're all getting stuck at what? Oh, there's a traffic accident up here. All right, and another one of these intersections we got to handle. <laughs> all right, let's get back to normal speed. <coughs> all right, can't afford to live here? Well, good, because I'm about to... Get rid of your building. Here we go. Let's see. Get rid of that. Um. Pause. Stop coming back. <laughs> All right. So. 
four lane. Got a roundabout. Got a one-way street. Uh, not replace. Wait, yeah, not replace. Got a one-way street. Got a one-way street. What is that wall there? Oh, it's just a shadow. I was like, there's a wall? What in the bloody hell? Alright, I don't think we want or need traffic lights here. I did kind of want them up there. Okay. You know what? We'll just make this an always stop then. Okay, cool. Back. Time on. There we go. Alright, that should be better traffic on that. You know what? Did I do anything on this side? Oh yeah, I did. I, did. I remember now. Okay. So there's like one retaining wall here. Or one noise cancellation wall. Um, Alright, these guys had some kind of accident as well. Alright, so... <coughs> or... Oh! This year, I spent lots of time playing online both with Dan and Dave. It was so much fun and it brought me back to my childhood playing with them on the couch. Also, I played a lot of multiplayer with the kids, uh, mostly around arena mode. I started off by getting back into the multiplayer games with Dan and Dave. And I really got into it as I was figuring out my webhook app that I made with First and Flask and then Fast API. I needed to play lots of games in order to keep, you know, hitting the webhook. Eventually, that got me interested in resuming my single player game as Gilgamesh, uh, which I last played the previous year on Extra Life Day. That game quickly went bust as I kept getting attacked for focusing on science to the detriment of my military. So I did a second game and tried to focus early on scouts to get the free city-state bonuses. That led to a stunted empire and I fell behind to Gandhi and eventually lost. Finally, I tried for a third time using all my lessons learned to finally get the Gilgamesh win. I played a few other single player games and getting back to multiplayer games in the one where I was India and embroiled in a war with Dan, my turns finally ended in defeat. The other multiplayer games continue. Alright, I'm back. Um, I just want to do this so I don't forget what I was doing and then I'm going to take my break. We've got a firehouse here, we've got this here. Um, depending, so he must be facing the street because I don't think they can use highways. Um, but the question is, can I ban people from trying to get onto this road? Um, and then <coughs> I can worry about a way onto the highway in a different section that makes more sense. So I'm going to try. Well, first, let me upgrade this road. Um, let's go four way. That would clash with something. A firehouse. Okay, so we can't do that. Can we do a three? Right, we can do a three. That gives us a little more room. Now we've got one lane that's definitely not for turning. But what if I came over here and said, I don't want anyone turning. There we go. So straight only. But no one's going to turn on to here. And then when it comes to getting on the highway, well, so they still have a traffic light there. <coughs> so what if I said no going onto the highway either? There we go. So now we can get rid of the traffic light because no one's ever going to try to get on the highway here. All right. Cool. So that should take care of that. I mean, there is the merge issue, but there's nothing I can do about that. There. Oh my god, that truck almost killed somebody. Alright, 
So it sucks that they have to merge, but maybe I can keep this one as a three lane so they don't have to merge. There we go. Cool. So no more merging. So now the question is, is there a way for folks here to get onto the highway and folks here to get off the highway without causing traffic? I think it would require me to use my eminent domain and get rid of some of these houses um, here. Um, so a small road. He said, I'm sorry, guys, but your house has got to go. And yeah, people can turn off if they wish. And for getting onto the highway, maybe we'll go like this and then allow people to get on. There we go. That doesn't cause any traffic lights, so it doesn't cause any traffic issues, or at least it shouldn't. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. So that problem is solved. I mean, look at all these bridges. Nice. All right, and we are still making money like gangbusters. All right. So over here, we've got a lot of apartments. Oh, look at that. They built out onto the... Oh, that looks really cool. Oh, I like how they did that. I'm going to take a picture here. See, they kind of like stretched out a little, added a little sand there. Mm. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Bring it back. There we go. We go this way. You can kind of see the high, the top, tall businesses in the background over there. All right, cool, cool, cool. It's only a mm. But it's a different person each time. All right, so now let's, so I bet nobody is using this subway. Let's see, subway line nine, few details. Nobody's on it. Nobody's using it, <laughs> but that's okay. That's because nobody kind of lives here. So let's change that. Let's make some um, ability for there to be businesses here. Whoa, they built really quickly. They really had a lot of demand. Look at that. They're like, yeah, we'll have businesses right on the other side of the subway. Of course we will. <coughs> All right. Now, let's see what we can do here. That makes sense. All right. So here the train goes underground. Oh, I like how pretty that looks. Yeah. So we're definitely, you know, let's definitely preserve some of the trees here. Let's do, um, <laughs> oh, we've got tourist attractions now, right? All right. Um, Let's go here. Let's do pavement path. What's this versus? What was the? Let me go back over here. The uh, pedestrian street. Okay, only foot traffic is allowed. So we're gonna do one of those. Ah, oh, see, why does a pedestrian street allow zoning? I feel like it shouldn't. But we're gonna go like that. Have this pedestrian street go up and over the tracks, back down, maybe to there for now. Um, all right, there, there we got our pedestrian street there, and then I think what I'll do is I'll have like a little, a large city park like right here. All right, and then we're, I want to preserve these woods here. Hopefully, I'll remember to do that. Um, so we've got lots of demand. Let's get zoned for that demand. Do some medium roads with a median. Um, like this. Go parallel. Go. meet up this guy here there we go okay cool and so i think i can remember to 
keep this like this. I'll just zone on the right side over here. What kind of future does music so let's get. To its past? Well, I say the question speaks for itself. Here on South Moon, we know you can't move forward unless you keep both eyes steadily trained on what's behind you. Interesting news from the city's export division. Sources tell us that our city has more services than we know what to do. Okay, cool. And you know what that means, folks. It means we're not cutting <coughs> close enough. Well, no. The point is we're selling it. And this one, let's go underneath. Right. You could almost say it's too much of a good thing. Or we could say that we're enjoying a positive trade balance and the economy is booming. More after this. Local stargazers are in for a real treat tonight as the Aurora Borealis is expected to light up the night sky. That's right, Jim. Very cool. All right, so let's get some zoning done. All right, there we go. We'll have these this little forested area here because of the highways. I like that. I like how that looks. Oh, I like how this looks here. Very good. The textures are kind of wonky at the moment, but otherwise I like it. All right. Oh. So let's re, as usual, let's re-examine our school situation. All right, looks like they're all good. Elementary, high, college. Don't have a high school anywhere near here, I don't think. Let me see. What kind of school is this? That's elementary. That's elementary. I think we probably need a high school. Um, <laughs> the question is, do we have a suitable location at the moment? Let's see. High school is kind of big. Could it fit under the highway here? No. This could be like a educational complex, but I want to save the ability for the university to upgrade. High school. High school, high school. I guess over here, this could be like an educational area. Maybe, nope. All right. <laughs> In the water. Uh. I'm not going to worry about it just yet. Um, college looks like it's getting full again. Um, so let's head over. Let's see. Let's go to our college over here. Let's see, I've got it all turned about again. Here it is. Any more upgrades we can do? <coughs> the library, but the library just gives you a better chance of graduating. We already have everybody graduating. We go to this another college over here didn't we somewhere uh, I think I'm gonna have to, let's see high school thought I had another college here somewhere where did I put the other one didn't I put another one education college there it is eh they still got plenty of room for people all right um this is just education in general. But there is more of a need. So this is a elementary. And we didn't block it to any specific district, but Stella Town's not getting any university. Maybe there's just I'm not quite sure why it would go that way, but maybe they don't need that. Maybe they need they need or want something else. The Evans family. Would it be that they need a high school? College. Doesn't quite tell me. Oh, okay. They want an elementary. 
The problem being, there's nowhere to put it, I don't believe. Without destroying some housing. Well, I'm gonna have to do another uh, eminent domain call. Sorry, guys. Your neighbors needed your property. <coughs> Alright. So, we've got another... Well, we can still build this way, so... I guess let's do that. Alright, so we are not quite making as much now that we got that elementary school in, in there, but... Uh, we should probably... Let's see, so I've got five points to spend. Let's see. I guess let's make a technical university. Why not? That sounds interesting. We haven't made any of those yet. We've just got enough money. So. Boy, that is a huge campus. Holy moly. It's like almost a whole quarter of a tile. Wow, we. All right. Um, tempted to put it like right here, maybe. This seems like it'd be a an interesting spot for it. Although, realistically, would it be right next to another university in town? I, mean, I don't think so. But maybe, especially because it's technical, maybe we put it out here, near the uh, industrial, or maybe like right here. Let's buy this tile. All right, now we can't afford it, so now we gotta wait a little bit. But I think I'd want to put it right there. Let's speed up time. Until we can afford this technical university. It's gonna go right there. Alright, we can afford it. Boom. Oh, cool, we just got an oil refinery. All right, cool. Now we got this technical university. All right, in our oil refinery, let's see, what does that give us? That gives us... Whoa, now all of a sudden we're making a ton of money. That's weird. Oh, because everything's more efficient. That's why. Oh, nice. Everything can graduate better. All right. Wow, this is a big thing. And it needs to be put on top of oil, I guess? Or does it? Does it? I bet it does, because it shows me where the oil is. What is this overlapping with? wonder if it needs to be like right here. Maybe I put it there and then I bring a road to it. I'm going to imagine that there are some, um, well, you know what, I'm going to, there's probably going to be some complimentary businesses that go right next to it. Cool. Now suddenly there are more offices that want to be here. I'm going to put an office right next to it. 
I think that'd be an interesting place for an office. All right. Uh, did it not want to be there? No, I didn't care. All right. Cool. <laughs> All right. So now we've got this university here. I would think that there would be lots of student housing as well as people that want to work here. So let's just bring this out. Let's see, does this building have any, oops. Does this building have any upgrades? It does, it has an extension wing, but doesn't take up any more space. Okay, so. Just gonna come in right behind it here. All right, and we'll build some student housing here momentarily. This out. Kind of like a little ring situation here. Okay, so uh, again, I imagine student housing to be row housing mostly. Um, can also maybe have some apartments, and we're gonna definitely have some offices and some commercial, like right by the university. Uh, basically, for the the kids that go to school here, you gotta you know buy supplies and maybe have some fast food places and we'll have some housing for the professors no water they're saying are we out of water we shouldn't be whoa the whole city showing is out of water pause what this has to be some kind of mistake because we're supposedly producing way more water than we're producing so what's going on here kind of interruption in the pipes or something A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive. Oh, there's a tornado. Okay. So maybe the tornado destroyed my water stuff. Another letter from our erstwhile listeners. Hmm. What's up, honey? Me and my sister love you. Oh, that's nice. Y'all got clarinets and violins, but you got something most music these days ain't. Ah, oh, let me guess. Lineage traced back to the great Hayden himself, hmm? Let's see here. Y'all got soul. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, soul. A raison d'etre. All right. I don't know what direction it's going to go in, My but... Say, whoever you got playing the keys got more funk in his pinky. Hmm, but I told her that ain't funk. That's classical. Yes, indeed. That must be most exacerbating. Classical music has been known since the time of the early explorers. Funk, by contrast, is an entirely modern conceit, and you'll find none of that here. Funk, as they say is for the lay person. Now, let's hear another one of those soul. Industry. Here we go. Stupid tornado. No sinking this boat, Glenda. Look, Scarlet. There's a tornado going through my city, destroying everything. Oh my In the god. You can expect delays on the major roads, especially during the show. Good to know, Joe. Seems like everyone's in a hurry to get somewhere fast. It's worth slowing down, and if you can... Just going in a circle, just like destroying the same few things over and over again. Oh, I don't know. 
I'd rather wait an hour in traffic than to have to start thinking about everything all the time. Besides, if I did that, I'd never get anywhere. Alright, that's done. Stupid. Alright, let's see here. I'll go ahead and do this, uh... Disaster shelter. Ooh, early disaster warning system. Okay. Alright, so now when it comes to water, once the old one gets fixed, unless I have to go and replace it or fix it or something, you should be... I don't even remember where the old one was. I don't know if it got destroyed destroyed. <coughs> oh, here it is. Is there a way to fix it, or does it just fix itself eventually? Mm. <laughs> Alright, let's see what happens when the fire truck is done here. Does it fix it? Alright, looks like I have to replace it, I guess. Oh, here we go. Rebuild. Rebuild. It would be cool. It would be... If I knew for sure everything that was destroyed. But I can go back and fix it. What are these here? Those will come back on their own. Now we should be exporting a whole bunch, maybe. Car accident. Alright. So I was over here when that happened. <coughs> Alright, Earl. We'll get you some more buildings. These people coming in. All right, we're at forty thousand. Awesome, awesome. All right, I think let's head back into Old Town. See if there's other buildings that need to be replaced. Looks like it.
let those go. Do another one there. Hmm, can there be one like this? Maybe. Okay. Um, there's a traffic accident there, okay. Um, in terms of residential, mostly just single family home at the moment. <laughs> it looks like there's maybe a bus crash or something over here. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, let's see here. Okay, cool. Hello, Ariana Thomas. Thanks for coming to the live stream. Um, we're raising money today for Extra Life. Trying to get money for Johns Hopkins Children's Center. Oh, we've got some garbage pileup going on over here. All right. Looks like we got to take this garbage situation a little more seriously. Right over here, maybe get another incinerator going. Um... <laughs> Oh, nice. Lucky little dancing dinosaurs. Alright, let's grab that little plot. No, you know what? Actually, let's see. Where do I want to put it? Let's go on this side. Get rid of that one. Um. Okay. So, grabbing this guy. What is this here? This is a Six lane road, it looks like. So we're gonna come, we're gonna come this way. Along the boundary of what we just bought. There comes a train. It's a cargo train. Cool. All right, so let's go ahead and throw the garbage incinerator over here. Oh, wait, no, actually, let me upgrade this one first. I think that was way cheaper. It's like all raised up. All right, let's see. Storage extension, store more garbage. And... extra furnace to do take care of more garbage there we go that should help things out in terms of the garbage situation all right and now let's see over here got the postal sorting facility they're still not sorting any mail i don't understand must be a, must be another bug Technical University, We've got 58 students enrolled. Excellent, excellent. All right, so now we have some more demand for higher density housing. Head over here. Have I played the first one? Yes, yes, I used to play City Skylines 1 quite a bit. Um, and now I got this one when it first came out and whoa, this parking lot is completely full. Um, and I'm enjoying it a lot. Um, it's not perfect, but it's not quite as buggy as most people say. So, you know, it's working out all right. Um, let's see. Uh, the biggest bugs I've had really have been some, like, texture wonkiness. Like, you see the shadows. Um, 
kind of popping in and out there, but other than that, it's not too bad. All right, um, so let's see here. All right, don't necessarily want to mess with these like really happy people here. Maybe there's a spot here I can throw something in. No. Um, let's see. <laughs> Got a parking lot here. It's com almost completely full. Well, at least people are using the parking lots before. It seemed like they weren't, so I'm glad they are. Probably need to revisit my mass transit once again. Let's see. Oh, we could probably put some right here. Let's see. Do medium density housing. We'll do it like maybe like that. And then let's add a parking lot for them too. We'll do a small one. All right. All right, this elementary school doing all right. Let's go ahead and add the playground to it. Put it right there. Then we'll add the uh, clinic as well. There we go. And um, sure, yeah, yeah. You can put a link to your stuff there in the in the channel. Uh, let's do some high commercial here. Some low commercial here. We'll do some row houses right here. And there. Pending updates to our power grid, the city will be experiencing and so and low density is want to be there. To remain calm during these breaks in service and to follow the guidelines on the city's website on how to plan for these temporary events. This has been a local public service announcement. Local authorities are urging the public to conserve water and reduce the burden on the city during this water shortage. Consider installing a low flush toilet, cut back on watering the lawn, and shower with a friend whenever possible. Shower with a friend. This has been a local public service announcement. What kind of future right. does music have? If it's cool. So that's all coming in now. I say the question speaks for itself. Here on Second Moon, we know you can't move forward unless you keep both eyes. Oh, we got some nice little breeze back here. Industry in the region is on the rise, and when business. All right, yeah, I can add you later. Right now, no trying to work on playing here. And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more high-end stores. All right, let's see. Latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva Mate. All right, so we can go under That's good for the train here. Good for the community. I'm going to grab this road. I'm going to go to Curvy and just follow. Oh, no, no. That is along the road, right? So we got to go up a bit. Let's see. Maybe from back here. There we go. All right, then we can go back. Oh, that's right. These guys, every time. All right, let's see, can we go high? All right, we're gonna have to rethink this so that we can get past those wires. I think we're gonna have to go under. Oh, I don't know why I thought this was a small road. Let's go with a uh, or four lane, I guess. Now that we're 
out from there. All right, and we can follow along here. Okay. Did that work? Oh, we were under the whole time? God darn it. All right, let's go up. To replace. Uh. Whoa. Oh, thank you for following me. I appreciate it. That's better. Okay. I think there's like some other road underneath, maybe. Okay, let's get rid of this. There we go. All right, cool, cool, cool. Now that we're here. Starting from here, let's see. All right, I think we'll just put some commercial right here. We'll let there be some residential here, basically, kind of like right on the water. It says they don't want to be there. So how about row houses? Row houses on the water then. Um, and on this side, we can kind of start bringing the roads back around. And back this way from where the other road is underground. Just kind of around. There we go. I think, maybe, maybe not. Okay, we'll just leave it like that. Okay, cool. So let's add some potential here. All right. Some more commercial things should go like right, right here and right here. All right. I don't know if any of them can build there, but if they can, they're welcome to it. What are they? What's their problem? They're in the water. <laughs> immediate water damage. All right, let's see what happens if once they fix themselves. All right, so I think I'm going to take a short break. We'll be back in a little bit. Thanks for watching, everyone.